I was just doing an oil change on my Ford F-150 and I was using my Harbor Freight uh, ramps that I previously reviewed. And I'll link to them up here, up here. What happened is, is I drove up the ramp, I overshot it on the left-hand side just a little bit and I pulled it back and got the uh, truck seated on the ramp properly. And I got out to take a look at the ramps and I wanna show you what I found. So this is what happened. The ramp split. Now I will say the corner had started to bend out here a little. Let's see if I can. This was a previous uh, oil change that I had noted this was occurring. Uh, so I was, so I was using auxiliary safety equipment. I was using my pump jack underneath just in case the uh, ramp failed. And I also had my jack stands underneath the uh, uh, truck as well. You kind of do that anyway. There's a rule of safety. Three is two, two is one, one is none. So if you just have one uh, fail safe, then if that fails, you've got nothing behind you. So if you have two, then if this fails, you've got a backup. But if this fails and your other one fails, then you've got nothing. So if you have three different uh, safety protocols in place, you eliminate most of the uh, risks. But I noticed that this now actually split down here when I overshot this and then backed it up and put it back on. Now it does say it's a 6,500 pound capacity. I always took that <laughs> as uh, with a grain of salt. But since I did previously review these and gave them a good rating, I wanted to do a follow-up and just let you know. Now, I don't know what it's been like three, four years now that I've been using these. And I mean, they do get not a lot of use, but they've they've gotten some use over the time. And they weren't left out in inclement weather or anything like that where, but they were in an unheated garage and we get cold temperatures here in Northeast New Jersey. So I don't know if that uh, contributed uh, to these things breaking down over time. But as you can see, this is now split down completely. And the other one didn't split, but you can see down here how the corner is starting to uh, buckle. And the same over here with a little bit of cracking starting here. So these are going in the garbage now. Uh, I think they're still a worthwhile investment uh, for the price, but definitely you want to keep an eye on them and start looking for failure points on these after a couple of years of use, or uh, if you <laughs> screw up and you overshoot the uh, ramp like I did. Uh, you just want to make sure, you know, you're doing things as safe as possible. And I knew that when I overshot this, I needed to check these just because I had seen this already, that these were uh, buckling a little bit. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, garbage time. And I figured I needed to uh, update uh, everyone as to these uh, uh, ramps. I still think they're uh, decent quality for uh, use. And maybe an F-150 is just too much for these ramps, you know, for a car it could be uh, just fine and you'll never run into a problem with it. The F-150 being a little bit heavier, obviously a 250 or 350, uh, you might not want to uh, use these at all. Uh, the F-150, I got, like I said, three, four years of use out of them and pretty regular use. Uh, I did a, a QX80, an Infinity QX80 with these two, they were used and regular oil changes and uh, maintenance. So they're not bad, but they just realize they do have their limitations. So it's just a quick update, but I figured it was an important one to uh, provide, uh, full transparency, full disclosure. And I didn't want it just out there that there was uh, 
you know, no issues with these at any time under any conditions. You always have to be careful with something like that. And with the safety equipment, uh, going to Harbor Freight, uh, you never, uh, you always have to be uh, very careful with what you choose. Now, I've seen, as I mentioned in my original video, you have to, I saw the Rhino ones had completely collapsed. So just because it's got a, a big name, doesn't mean that it's uh, perfect either. You know, so these things, they're good up to a point, but then uh, you have to expect that at some point they're gonna fail. And make sure you're using plenty of uh, backup safety procedures so that you're doing things safely and you don't get injured. Okay, thanks for watching.